Welcome to lesson number eight, week eight of our short form Tai Chi class. This week we worked on snake creeps down and golden cock stands on one foot. It's a short sequence, but there's a lot of moving parts to it. So we spent a bit of time talking about hand position, weight, body movement, and we'll do that again for next week's lesson because this form is performed on both the right side and the left side. So today, we're going to do it on the right side. I'll walk you through the steps, and then I'm gonna turn and face the mirror so it's a little easier for you to practice along behind me. But at first, I want you to be able to see the movements of my hand and my knees and my body because it's a little harder to see it from behind. So we were in our, our starting position, having just finished the kicks. And I talked about making sure your hand isn't like really in front. You can have them over a little bit further to the side as a counterbalance, because the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna step to the side and back. And that hand comes down. And what's, one of the really important things is the hand movement in this form and where it goes. Uh, maybe one of the most important of all the forms for what we've done so far. So we do this step down, drop the hand down. It's very close to this knee. The palm is facing towards that knee to begin. So from here, step out and back, and then the turn where we turn the foot and the hand at the same time. So this to this, and my weight is a bit more on the back leg still. And you find this takes a lot of leg strength. And so as we practice it, we'll wanna stay a bit more upright as we learn where our feet and our hands and our weight are going. So I came down and opened out, and then the last move was to change the hands. One comes up, the other comes down together. So from here to here, and we rotate the toe in. Now our weight is more even on both feet. When we do the shift of the weight, it's really important that we don't let this knee drop in. And we'll talk about that more next week it's critical that we do it like a ballet plie, both knees pushing out so we have the correct position. And open. And you really have to watch, you don't let this slide in, that you've really got a lunge going in this position. And then you turn the whole body and bring the toe forward. Now I'm in a bow stance again. We finish the move with golden cock stands on one foot. We bring our weight all the way to the front leg and lift the leg and the hand together like that. And then just go ahead and put it down for now. So I'm gonna turn to the mirror now that I've shown you the body parts where they move so you can see them clearly so you can follow along from behind. So starting from the beginning of the move where we finish the kick, step out and down, the hand drops down. Now open, very important not to move this right knee and let it twist around, keep it back where it was. Now you're in a very deep plie kind of stance. And finally turn and as you switch the hands, turning the toe in. Bring your weight forward, lift up like that. And you can take a kind of a step from here, get a, a T step, put that toe down for a second before you start the lift until you have a bit more practice and strength for doing these moves. Okay, so again, Step back, drop the hand, 
open up. This is like the plie. Weight's still more on the back than the front. Switch hands. Back toe points more to the front. And finally, I'm pressing down with the left, lifting with the right, up. Nice, good balance. So next week, I'll show you how to turn around to the other side and do snake creeps down and golden cock on the other foot. And we'll put both of those two together. See you next week.